A new way of visiting California's wine country. Napa Valley, north of San Francisco, is home to more than 400 wineries and some of the world's best vintages. But seeing Napa's beauty and sampling all of its flavors can be a challenge for visitors. That's where the Napa wine train comes in. For decades, the locomotive has transported passengers through wine country in style and luxury. And now, as Danya Baca shows us, it's doing so in a way to protect the delicate environment that surrounds it. Welcome aboard. It's a new path for an old ride. Napa Valley's wine train has gone green. It is right now the cleanest diesel engine in its class in the world. For 35 years, the luxury train has been whining and dining passengers, chasing stunning views across vast vineyards. Now it's riding into the future with a newer, cleaner locomotive, one that uses less fuel, has near zero emissions, and follows stringent Environmental Protection Agency standards. You've been around for a long time, but now one of the first to use this technology. That is correct. Nathan Davis is the Napa Valley Wine Train's general manager. If you were to literally count the amount of exhaust, it's zero when it comes out. It's that clean. That means goodbye to those iconic puffs of billowing black smoke. It's nice driving this in the valley and not having a cloud of smoke. Engineer Artemis Rogerson has lived in Napa for years. People would complain sometimes about the train going by, and so it's nice having this. Another perk, a smoother ride. And this one is just smooth as butter. Trains are usually, you know, like noisy and bumpy. Does it make a difference in it terms of does. the It does, yes, we believe it does, especially with the um, sound of the diesel motor when it's running. You just don't hear it. Davis plans to turn his whole fleet green by 2025. For now, this engine is leading the way, renamed 1864 for the rail line's founding year. It was only a few years later, in 1867, that the Pullman Palace Car Company was also founded by George Pullman, the father of luxury rail travel. All aboard! The interiors of those classic train cars rivaled five-star hotels. Their famous sleeper car service discontinued in 1969. 20 years later, the Napa Valley Wine Train was born, settling into the site of the historic Napa Valley Railroad and using the very same Pullman cars whose splendor they dream to emulate. Does this ever get old? Never. It's fun every day. Beautiful territory. I got the coolest job in Napa. The classic train now on a slightly different track. It's a slow moving industry, but when we move, we get momentum going and we just keep plowing ahead. A symbol of vintage opulence. Now full speed ahead to a cleaner future. For CBS Saturday Morning, Danya Backus, Napa Valley. All these great train lines, I'm learning about them so late. My son's so much older, he loved trains as a kid. Now you can take him because he can drink. Take him on the, there it on is. the Napa Valley train. There you go. <laughs> Looks so elegant, the restaurant. Yeah, it's really, it's really yeah. beautiful. It's a beautiful really nice. train. Yes. Nice. You, so you've been? I've been on it, not in this state, but prior. And I'm very curious because it was a herky-jerky a little bit. Not the whole time, but, but like... But they say it's better now. Yeah. And yeah. the wine? Wine is good. Ooh, gotta love it. <laughs>